Oh, what's going on, my beautiful people? It's your boy Lyndon, bringing you guys a brand new video here today. How are we all doing after gym vlog? I haven't done one of these in a while. How are we all doing tonight? It's a beautiful Friday night under the lights. Another day, we blessed out here in London, man, living. You just gotta be grateful, honestly, for all kind of trials and tribulations, man. Life could be so much worse than it is right now. Like, I know times are difficult for a lot of people, but you know what? I'll give thanks, man. But we're just able to do this and yeah it's been a good it's been a good up day full day at uni finished out got to hang with some friends for a chill for a, with some friends for a bit and went out and did some box went out boxed it was like a boxing class very tough very good it's always good to be challenged obviously it's good good class and then just finished off at the gym you're honestly really solid day um just super super happy kind of how things cr cracking on at the moment with the regression uh, people just kind of I think when you kind of do something positive, people always kind of gravitate towards you, and that's something that's really, really useful, um, especially as I am pretty much doing this camp um, on my own. And when I say about that, it's like I haven't got, like, it's not like I'm doing, like, with, like, a club or, like, I've got, like, a trainer. So it is really, like, the thing I'm benefiting most from at the moment is that people who will have more experience than me, who are like, oh, you're having a fight. Yeah, yeah, let's see your defence, let's see your movement. And then they'll introduce one or two things, and that's literally how I'm just picking up, like, Obviously, you, yeah, you listen to the coach, whatever, the group instructions, but then these people who will give you, give you an extra five, ten minutes, honestly, they could be the difference between winning and losing this fight. So I really appreciate anyone who comes in and is willing to give me that advice and I'm willing to listen because I know I'm still very new to this. Like, obviously, I've had two fights, but, like, I've not been boxing for that long. So I, I really do appreciate any sort of tips or anything on movement or just getting rounds in or just practicing, like, anything, man, honestly. But it's been so good. And yeah, let me talk about the main topic of the video today, because that isn't it. I'm just going to give you guys a rundown of my day. <laughs> you guys know what's going on in London's life. But yo, the main topic of the video today actually is about energy. And it's about keeping your energy inside you. Sorry about that. Um, this video is all about keeping your energy um, inside of you. Uh, because something I've kind of started, I started it kind of at the start of the month. I'm going to come up towards a month of doing it now. Is literally just like... The idea of like retaining energy. When I mean retaining energy, it's like it's less like oh I'm putting energy like inside the body. It's not releasing the energy. So um, it's a bit of a weird topic. Obviously, how many are watching? I'm sorry you have to hear this, but like I think it's an important topic. And I think it'll help a lot of people out there. Um, so basically, um, what I decided to do, kind of from start of September, is I decided that I just wasn't going to release um obviously you guys most of you will know what i'm referring to by that if not um you put in like basically yeah especially like putting like no fab semen retention those kind of phrases you'll see what i mean but basically i found that really has helped like, i can't lie like because what it's done for me it just kind of gives you that focus because Everyone, like, the thing is, when you bring up these kind of topics, you know, people like, straight on it, and, like, oh, yeah, nah, I see the benefits, I see why it would work, and they're even they're quite supportive of it, they think, oh, I'll give that a go. Or they just, like, completely, it would be complete denial of it. It's like, no, me doing that, oh, I just need to, just need to get, get some energy off, oh, no, I'm just tired, oh, no, it doesn't affect anything. Like, people get proper, proper defensive when you talk about that topic. But, honestly, from someone who has been there and really really struggled with it like i'm telling you now like we we all know when when that energy goes when you feel like oh you've relaxed a bit you've got that temporary uh, dopamine in your head we all know long term it's not good you crash for a few days and even though obviously it's something i've been fighting for a, something that's something i've been fighting for a while and um, it's like the first time i think that i've got to like the month um, but I've had like a lot of the times I've gone two, three, four weeks. I remember I was talking about this like with the lads. Um, but I remember going out to like for some like beers and that. This was literally about two years ago. I remember a hot sunny day. I remember we were in knots at the time, and I saw the lads. The lads were like, "Oh, what are you doing? What are you up to?" And I explained this concept. I remember the lads literally just like straight up. They were just, like laughing at me because like I had it all written down. I had like oh, like a one week streak there, a two week streak there. And they were like, what are you doing? But I was like, I knew from the kind of videos I'm watching and stuff, and I knew that what I was doing was not a net positive on my life, and I wanted to start. So literally over the past two years or so, 
I've been working on cutting this habit down, cutting it off. Sometimes you relax, sometimes you relax hard. But, like, I kept going at it. And now, kind of with the inspiration of having a boxing match as well, I wanted to be kind of focused. I think that's the best chance you've got a victory when you're just in there, hungry, you're not distracted. And honestly, it's been such a change. The way I've been able to attack activities, full focus and... Like I say, just undivided attention, man. And it just works in all areas of life, honestly. Like, one of the things I absolutely love about this, like I say, I've been doing this for about a month now, is I just feel like I can stare anybody down. You're not worried, you're not like, I feel like when you're constantly just releasing your energy, you're just a bit lax, you're just a bit lax, you don't really care, you don't want to look people in the eye. Like, you're just a bit like, uh, like. But nah, I just feel like razor, razor sharp, like focused edge. I can just look at anyone and just feel like fully intentional, feel like, feel like fully in the zone. I can really cut in, I'm like ready to box, ready to box. And it's time to do exercise, time to run, it's time to run. And honestly, the biggest benefit of kind of what I've done so far is the effort feels good. You might think, oh no, but effort, you should just want to exercise and that. But no, I'm telling you now, when you hold it, when you hold this energy in for a bit, like, you get to the point where you go on a run, it feels good. You go to do, you go to box, it feels good. You go to play football, it feels good. Don't get me wrong, during the time, you'll still be dying. You'll still, if you go and run, you still have like, doing like these like big um, sprints and that. You'll still be dying at the time. But you get off the pitch and you, or you finish boxing, you finish running, and you're like, let's go again. You're like, this is good. And like, honestly, that's been, this month, one of the best months for that. Like, just literally feeling up for stuff like, when I know you want to do a boxing trainer, you want to have a day off afterwards. But the last kind of two or three weeks, I'm going to box train on a Thursday, then going on a Friday. And that's not something I usually do. Like I said, the energy is inside me, that fire is inside me. Obviously, you're like, oh, this is coincidental with kind of fighting and being in the camp. So you're like, oh, you want to train more. But no, I'm telling you now, just the energy I'm on, it's a different level. And I feel like people can feel it. I can feel it. And it's something that I want to continue this energy outside the camp like i just absolutely like i'm loving it like don't get me wrong like people are like well no don't you get like don't like urges and like don't you go all mad and yeah you do but like, like i said i think the first time you probably practice this you are gonna you are struggle there's gonna be like it's because it is such a hard thing to be green in most of our minds since we're literally young like and i mean young young like so it's not something you'll be able to kick straight away it's not something you're going to master straight away. But I'm telling you now, just even implementing it slowly, like, I'm not going to tell you guys to finish this video and be like, ah, oh, no, that's it. I'm just going to cut it all out. I'm not going to do it. 30 days, let's go, because it just isn't going to happen. But if you take it slowly, if you reduce kind of the times you have doing that, if you reduce it down, and if you eat more times a day, try and go down to one time a day, and then try and go one or two days without it see if it works if it doesn't go back try it again like just take your time with it honestly there's no rush but i'm telling you lot you will benefit so much because the way i'm in it now is just i feel just like a different person when i'm attacking stuff like i already had kind of and the thing about me is because i've been doing it for a while it's like i had days where i would release but i could still go on a run but it was less like, unless I wanted to go for it, and it's more like, I feel bad, I have to do this. It's, it's more guilt that pushes me through the exercise. Whereas now, it's just, I just want to go. I just feel ready, bro. I just, and it, honestly, I just want this feeling for people because it's not something, kind of in kind of niche that I'm on on YouTube, people talk about this kind of stuff. But in kind of regular mainstream society, we don't talk about this. But it's a big thing, man. If you can nail it, if you can get there, you can really nail it. Give it a go. I'm telling you, you'll feel the benefits. 1,000%. 1,000%. And, and I've been listening to some stuff recently. And obviously, one of the main things in life at the moment that's being kind of talked about is kind of what sort of mark are you going to leave on this world? And I'm telling you now, um, one thing I believe in, obviously, kind of with the way I'm talking and stuff, so I want to build a legacy, I want to build something where people look back at my journey and be like, wow, that was inspiring. And I know I'm on some kind of way. I know I lost a lot of weight, I know I've been doing stuff. I know this on the boxing fight, bro, if I won this boxing fight, it's a big, big statement towards what I'm trying to achieve, what I'm trying to prove to people. 
So I'm pretty pleased with myself. Just like insane, engage in my hike. Not even get hike, yo. I'm just trying to take myself to a new level, and hopefully, new people will see that and want to join the journey. But overall, it's like I understand what it's like to be me. Um, I understand what it's like when like you're down. I understand what it's like when you feel like ah nah, you have no chance. <laughs> I understand what it's like when you're in your room and you're like, what, what's the point of going out? Like, I understand all of that. I've been there, done it, and I fought my way out. So, I really do, I make content for you lot, because I want you lot to fight out of there, because we're in such weird times at the moment. Honestly, we can say, honestly, because we have the most technology, the most comfortable, lives of anyone who's ever lived on this planet but we still we have some of you telling me you right, telling? yeah all right yeah i'm yeah, good man what are you telling me i'm good bro but yeah man literally i said we're living through some of the like Best time, the technologies, advances, like things that are going on, like pure motives, pure good things, things that we could do. And people still struggle a lot, man. So, I'm not sure if you keep walking up, keep walking down, I might go ahead and go up. But yeah, I'm just gonna have a quick little walk around right now, because I should have gone to the tube station, but I kind of want to carry on this video, so let's carry on. <laughs> Yo, but yeah, we're going through, people are going through tough times right now and I feel like any sort of positive energy, anyone kind of leading by example, and that's what I'm thinking about me. I want to lead from the front. I want to be a shining example. So that's what I'm doing. Like, and sometimes it takes some sacrifice, man. Like, people aren't going to believe in you. People aren't going to believe in your story if you don't show that you can do it. Because why listen to someone who never did it? You don't want to listen to a pundit that never played football. So why are we going to listen to a person saying you can change your life, you can improve your life? If he doesn't improve his, if he doesn't make the money you want to make, if he doesn't have the success you want to make, if he hasn't got the mental state that you want to create, why would you listen to me? So in my job, as someone who wants to be someone that you kind of take in and take inspiration from, is to put that into my own life. And then once I can show that and show my whole journey, which you can see from when I was actually 13 years old, all my kind of thoughts me insecure problems feeling like i couldn't achieve stuff feeling like i couldn't play football feeling like i couldn't box feeling like oh, i could never lose this weight i want you to feel i want you to see that it's all possible it's all possible i'm telling you now anything that you want to do in this life i feel like it's truly possible but it took me years i mean years to figure this out sometimes i feel like i speak to people when they're like 18 and it's like and i feel and like, i'm not no kind of like a risk at 18, 19, and like, although the, the 18, 19 year olds today are way smarter than I ever was, and I feel like I'm only gonna get higher, but there's some stuff you just learn with time. And yo, I feel like you can sit on YouTube and Instagram, and you can see all these motivational podcasts, and you can see, you can hear all the right words, but some of the things you hear in those words, even though it is wisdom, you're not gonna take into your 26. Bro, there's motivational podcasts I listen to now. And there's words that I won't take in until I'm like 30 years old. Because sometimes you just have to live it. I think you can have all the theory in the world, but literally until you've gone out there, you applied it. And I think you have to fail as well, which is something we don't get taught. A lot of people just kind of taught like, oh, go through, go to school, ACs test, ACs test. Nah, man, there's some tests where uh, no matter how good you are, you're going to fail something. You might, you might even come back a second time and pass it straight away, but you're going to fail something. And when you do, you've got the ability to get back up, man. A lot of people, most, most successful people have had times when they're down, but they were never out. And as much as I've been down, I say I've never been out, I've never gave up, I've never just been like, fuck this, let me just... Uh, like, I don't really thought about ending it, I never really thought about, oh, nah, let's just not even try, like... I've always had, even in the tiniest bit in my mind, I've always wanted to keep staying there because I believe in better times. 
And some people hate this kind of rhetoric. They hate this kind of, oh, you cut yourself up, you change your life. Some people want to be down, man. Some people find comfortability in their deep, dark times because in their brain, their brains, because they've had so many kind of bad, repetitive times that, like, it, it's just, like, the way their brain wires up, those kind of, I can't the words now, um, obviously the way the things connect, like, it just wires their brain that way and they can't fight out of it. Like, it's a re- it'd be a really hard job for them to retrain it. But, like I said, you used to take one step at a time. And, honestly, it's just taking all the advice, man, and just change what you consume. Because, I feel like a lot of time, when you're down, you, you want to hear other people. You want to be stuck in these social spaces. You want to be just stuck consuming other things that kind of reinforce your point. But force yourself, even if it's just five minutes a day, force yourself to listen to stuff that doesn't go with your opinion. Force yourself to listen to stuff that will change, that will make you think about things. Because I guarantee you, you will benefit from that. You will benefit from listening to things that make you think twice about your opinion. So I think it's so easy in this day and age to live in the echo chamber and not really think about kind of the other side of things. Don't think about the other argument, just dismiss it. Live with your people, live with the people that agree with what you agree with. Just block anyone else that's anything different. But I'm telling you now, in 10 years time, you'll look back and be like, well, that was a bit stupid. Well, look at what I could have done five years ago if I just took in that. What, What could I have done if I just reflected? And I think sometimes if you just look at your life and you'd be like, this is what I want to achieve, man, because you really get one life, you grow up very quickly. I feel like when I'm actually on my purpose, I feel like time just, it kind of slows down a bit. I kind of like it. But, yo, it's very easy, especially in the sad times, week after week to month to a year. I mean, being 22, I feel like it lasted two months. I can't lie to you because it wasn't great. But kind of the end cycle of being 22 and the start of being 23 has been very good. I remember more of the days and even though I'm still kind of working hard, I'm still trying to do uni, still trying to do a lot, like, I feel like I'm building the person I actually want to be. And that's the thing, man. I feel like, don't just strive for the success. Build the character. Build the character you want your kids to be. Build the character that you want to show to people when you're older. Build the character that creates the success. And I guarantee you, give it a year, being in your perfect frame, you will get somewhere and you will just, you won't change back. So that's my advice to you. Build that character, keep that energy in, and just keep going. Bro, I'm doing some of the, I'm doing like some of the most work I've ever done. And I'm doing some of the most work I've ever done. Um, I'm working hard, I'm doing some of the most workouts, walking, um, balancing a bit, balancing a job, and say, trying to be at uni, taking things in. Like, just all these different outside things. But because I am focused on what I want to do, and just kind of keeping the energy in, and the mentality, and I'm listening to other successful people who are like, this is my story, this is my kind of thing. Another good thing as well, sorry, I'm not going to kind of keep floating on and on. Another good thing is modeling. So, finding people that are successful in the field that you like, and seeing what are their habits, what are their traits, they're trying to implement that stuff. There's a lot of thoughts, there's a lot of things that I take in from other people, other creators, other artists, other successful businessmen that I try to implement into my life. And that's a whole new video. But, mate, there's nothing that says you can't use what they use to be successful. (laughs) There's nothing. So, just go out there and whatever works for you, just try one step at a time. Don't do too much too quickly. But try and think how, I think, that, I think that's the thing. Um, if you read the book Atomic Habits, if you haven't, I recommend it highly. What's one thing? How can you be 1% better every day? Just 1%, 1%, not 5%, not 10%. How can you be 1% better? How can you just tweak that little thing that makes you slightly better? If you can achieve that, you can achieve a lot. But yeah, guys, I've got to drive back to South London. Uh, I've been walking around for a while now. Um, and obviously the tube station, I've walked past it now. Um, 
Brad Vile was kind of suffering in the street and whatever, just kind of carried on. He went to fist bump him, didn't want to fist bump, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, obviously, <laughs> don't run into any, too much trouble, so I kind of kept it moving. He's all right in the video. Um, but yeah, man, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excellent. Like, I'm very surprised in the middle of boxing camp, like, kind of doing this boxing, all the kind of things, football, moving a lot. My step count is crazy. I'm doing like 15k steps a week, 15k steps on average per day in a week. Like, it's crazy. I'm doing hella walking, hella boxing, hella football runs and a lot and honestly i feel some of the happiest i've ever felt in my life like like i couldn't as someone who hates used to hate cardio i can't believe i'm saying that but it's actually true like and it's just things compound man and like i say it's positive mindset keep going keeping the energy flowing and just having good people around you and it will all come together so keep believing in that dream Keep striving to be your best. And like I say, one step at a time. We all got this. And I'll catch you later. Have a good rest of the day. It's been your boy, London. Dropping that game for all you people in the trenches. Putting in that work. I appreciate you all. Uh, <laughs> down 20 minutes. Honestly, you're sick. You are an absolutely unbelievable human being. You're changing my life. Hopefully changing a bit of your life as well. I wish you all the best. Season.